Only in Georgetown counties. Welcome back to Sound Off. Now, Sound Off is heard weekly on your favorite radio station, and we are sponsored by Carolina Teen Health and uh, Michelle and Tanisha. What a wonderful weekend last weekend we had, guys. When you agree? Yes, it was. Yes, it, was. it was really. You good. know, we're, we're recording on Valentine's Day, a very special love day, and. Um, you know, I, I just think it's a special holiday, and I just love the uh, even the way it feels on Valentine's Day. And not that we don't give people love every day, but um, what happened on last Saturday, Michelle? Was that not an exciting event? It really was. Uh, last Saturday, for all y'all who don't know, which most of you don't, but uh, we went to a love and respect conference in Georgetown, and it was beautiful. If you remember Miss Beverly, she was there, the lady who talked about stalking, and they talked about all different types of subjects, not just love and respect, but teen dating violence, and Officer Darren, um... Corporal Darren Austin. Corporal, oh, yes. he Darren got that Austin. big title. Yes. Yeah, but he spoke, and it was, it was just amazing. And, you know, you could feel the love and everybody was paying so much attention and the 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 conversation and all the topics and everything it was just so so life-changing and beautiful and most people you know go and listen to something like that they don't right. really take it in but I took it in yes I yes. was listening but uh Tanisha what you got to say about it well I think it was really good let's go fill in on Michelle I think it was so good and I think we should play it Play it back so the people in Oregon and, and even in Georgetown County who didn't get to go to this good conf- this right. great conference should hear some of the messages and some of the things that were talked about at this conference. I agree. All right. So for all you Oregon and Georgetown County people, yeah. here is a segment from Corporal Darren Austin's speech and a couple of interviews. So enjoy. We love you. Good morning, Ori and Georgetown Counties, and uh, welcome to Sound Off. Now, Sound Off is heard weekly on your favorite radio station, and we are very excited. We are in Georgetown, South Carolina, at the Love is Respect Conference, and I have a very handsome young man with me on this morning. Good morning, sir, and what's your name? Adonis. Adonis, what a nice name for a very handsome young man. And uh, I, I just noticed that you came out of the workshop, and, and um, just simply, what, what are you getting from this, or what do you hope to get, or what have you already learned from the workshop that you attended? Well, I learned that um, I, didn't, I didn't really know that the teen violence was done at such a young age. I didn't know that at all. I was thinking more or less like 10th or 11th grade or 12th grade, somewhere around the lines of college. But um, when I figured out it was eighth and ninth, I kind of like thought about that. Like, but that's really young to say that that's kind of like puppy love instead of being like intimate with somebody. Um, so would you say the information that you're gathering on um, this morning is going to be beneficial to you, and will you actually use it and share it with some of your peers? Oh, definitely. I'm gonna definitely use it with some of my peers because I'm pretty sure they don't know anything about that. And um, really. That really, um, that really kind of blew my mind about that. I'm still kind of rushing off to how young the kids are, but when they're doing that, especially around eighth grade, that, because that was actually kind of when I was starting to come into my own in eighth grade, and I didn't even know anything about that. So you would say this conference is being very beneficial. Oh yeah, very beneficial. Okay. All right, and now at Sound Off, we give you the opportunity to do some shout outs, and I understand that you're a student at Waccamaw High School. So besides Waccamaw, who would you like to shout out to? Uh, shout out to my cousin Unique. Um, shout out to my cousin Imani. Wish he could be here today. Shout out to the whole JV basketball team, Coach Carr, everybody. Uh, Coach Quinn, hope to have a good season with him next year. And um, shout out to all the advisors out here that are helping us out today. Good stuff. We appreciate your time. Once again, Ori and Georgetown Counties, you're listening to Sound Off, heard weekly on your favorite radio station. And we are excited. We're at the Love is Respect Conference in Georgetown. And I have a very lovely young lady with me on this morning. Good morning, ma'am. What is your name? Good morning. My name is Judy Cooper. Okay, and Ms. Cooper, what is your role? Um, what, what are you doing to make sure this conference is really, I can tell, is being really successful. But what was your role in, in this conference? Actually, this is my second year with this conference. This year is my first year as one of Ms. Denise Chapman's board of directors. Okay. Last year, I volunteered as a mentor. Okay. So what, uh, what do you hope to accomplish on today? Hope that our young people will take heed to what's coming to them because de- teen violence is a very serious dating problem that's going on. Last year was my first year actually realizing that it do take place at such an early age. So I'm hoping that our young people today would take heed and learn 
a lot all of these good advisors they have today. Okay. All right, then to sound off, we give you the opportunity to shout some people out. So who would you like to shout out on this morning? Shout out would go to Ms. Denise Chapman for such a job well done. Okay, thank you. I definitely agree. Thank you. Once again, Ori and Georgetown Counties, you're listening to Sound Off, heard weekly on your favorite radio station, and we are excited. We are in Georgetown, South Carolina, my hometown, and we are at the Love is Respect Conference at the Quality Inn and Suites, and I have uh, two handsome young men standing with me on this morning. Um, I noticed you just got out of the conference, so what, what did you get from the session that you attended? Uh, first, first of all, what is your name? Let, let's tell everybody your name. Uh, my name is Xavier Jones. I go to Georgetown High School. Okay, let me get this other young man. What's your name, honey? My name is Javon Lee. I go to Georgetown High School as well. Georgetown Bulldogs representing on this morning. That's that Georgetown Bulldog, isn't it? Yes, Y'all do big things at Georgetown High? Uh, every, day. Every, day? every day. You make good grades? Yes, ma'am. Every day? Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're ready to talk. All right. What did you get out of your session on this morning? Um. Well, we learned about... It's just so much. It, we, we just give me a little bit of what you learned. Okay. Well, we learned about all the different ways of how people can manipulate the others in relationships mm -hmm. and That's threatening good. them and make sure that they don't leave and abandon them. Wow. And, like, we learned about how people abuse and kidnap people over over silly things and and bullies and stuff. Okay. Good job, man. I'm telling you, what are you going to do with that information? Would you be willing to share that information with your peers? Um, yes, ma'am. I'd be very willing. See, and I like that. Yes, ma'am. Now, you can tell people from Georgetown, we got manners, don't we? Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. What you got? What did you learn from your session? I learned that um, how people use, use the girlfriends that they go with, always beating them up for little stuff, like he said, and manipulating them, how to control them and all that. So if you were thinking about beating your girlfriend, you absolutely positively have changed your mind, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, because you would go to jail, and then plus, that's just, that's a punk. Nobody, no man don't need to be hitting a girl, right? Am I right? No, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. See, y'all are good, well-raised young men. So what I need uh, you guys to do is I want you to take this opportunity to shout some people out. And I'm telling you now, you better shout your parents out. Then uh, you could shout them little girls or whatever. Okay, who would you like to shout out, man? My grandma and my mama. What's your grandma's name? Mildred Dobbins. Mildred Dobbins. Big shout out to Mildred Dobbins representing Georgetown and doing a good job raising these, this very handsome young man. And who would you like to shout out to? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my mama, Janine Canteen, my dad, Ralph Jones, and everybody uh, representing Georgetown High School. And my Valentine's, y'all know who I'm talking to. I ain't going to say it oh, out loud. Don't call a name because you probably got about four, five, seven of them, so don't call a name. But uh, good job, guys. I appreciate it. Georgetown Bulldogs representing on this morning. Good job. Good morning, Ori and Georgetown Counties. And once again, you are listening to Sound Off, heard weekly on your favorite radio station. And, uh, man, I'm really excited. We are having a good time in Georgetown. And with me now is the director um, of this wonderful conference that's happening here in Georgetown, Love is Respect. Good morning, ma'am. And who are you? Good morning. This is Denise Chapman. And what is your role uh, in this conference, Ms. Chapman? I am the founder and the executive director of Optimism Preventive Services. And this is actually our second uh, workshop, our second conference. And like you said, the title, the theme is Love is Respect. And what we hope to accomplish today is to just educate as many teens as we can about teen dating and violence prevention. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about optimistic um, marketing prevention services. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's a long name, and I know you're doing a lot of good things, but just for the people in Oregon and Georgetown counties that might not know anything about it, how did you get started, and, and what is the thrust of the message, and what do you hope to accomplish? And you said a little bit of that, right. but give us a little bit more details about your organization. Actually, the name of the organization is Optimism Preventive Services. Okay. And basically what we do, we service ages 5 through 18 throughout Georgetown County. We have an array of services that we provide. Uh, our after-school program is one of the services that we provide. And it's funny, someone just asked me the other day, how does after-school relates to prevention? Okay. 
Well, we know if they're in an after school and they're in that safe environment, then that way they are um, protected from engaging into any type of inappropriate behavior, which we know that during the time um, between 2.30 and 5 is the time when most youth are more, more tend more to engage in these inappropriate um, behavior. So that's what we like about our after school and we help with the homework. The homework is a must because we try to enhance and improve um, academically. We provide um, character education, um, social skills. We just do a array of things in our after school program. And then we have the programs that we provide for our teens such as this program. Mm -hmm. Um, we also focus on teen pregnancy. We focus on crime prevention. So th uh, maybe three times a year we are doing some type of programs for our youth. But for anyone that is listening, not only do we have this day that's dedicated for our teens, we have two other components for our, of our program for teens. It's called Ingenuous Gentlemen for Middle and High School Guys and Optimistic ladies. So we have those programs where we try to meet with these kids um, on a monthly basis to see what it is, what their needs are, what it is that um, they would like for us to provide for them. And of course we try to teach them to give back to the community by providing them with some type of community service. Um, anyone that's attending this program today, they can actually fill out an application today to become a part of Ingenuous Gentlemen or Optimistic Ladies and then they'll receive volunteer hours. And how important is it, uh, we need to stress to these teens, now is the time for them to start volunteering because career development mm -hmm. um, is a part of our, one of the services that we provide too. And when you're looking at colleges, you can have the best grade, but if you hadn't given back anything to your community, you know, that doesn't say that you are a hard worker, that you are a determined person. So that's why we try to encourage um, community service work. We just do an array uh, of services yeah. we, we do a lot and, and and I know that you're not uh, you're not government funded and it sounds like a wonderful uh, wonderful organization and you do a lot of good things for the community um, if someone is listening and would like to donate is there a contact information there is there is um, if you would like to um, contribute I'd like to become a sponsor you can make your check payable to optimism and you can mail that to P.O. Box 1695 Georgetown South Carolina or if you would like to volunteer, um, you can contact us at 843-904-6196. So we are looking for, for volunteers, we're looking for sponsors, and we're looking for mentors. Wonderful. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job. I'm enjoying the workshops. I'm telling you, this has been so beneficial. And um, I'm excited because the young people we have interviewed said they will share this information with their peers. Right. So, I mean, if anything else, I think that you will, your goal will be accomplished, given the information out. And at Sound Off, we don't ever allow you to leave without doing some shout outs. So at this time, who would you like to shout out? I'd like to send a shout out to the parents. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much, Denise. Ori and Georgetown Counties, you're listening to Sound Off Heard Weekly on your favorite radio station. And I'm excited. I have one of my beautiful Saras, member, uh, Sara, member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, also a very, uh, very active, active uh, a person in this county. Um, good morning, beautiful. Who are you? Uh, good morning. I am Rhonda Britton, and I am a board member for Optimism Preventive Services. Okay. And Ms. Denise told us exactly what that meant, but um, how important was it for you to be here on this morning? Uh, it's important for the students in the community to see that we are proactive about um, their personal lives and the things that they are involved in, and we want them to know that, that it's okay to be uh, in healthy relationships and that they don't have to subject themselves to um, to abuse and, and things of that nature. Okay. And, and is that the message you would hope the young people would take away on today? I am hoping that they take something away today and, and share it with others. I spoke with the one um, per participant that's here today and I told them, you know, spread the word and let others know that, that the information that was presented today was great information and that they need to make an effort to come next year. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, at Sound Off, we always give you the opportunity to shout some people out. So who would you like to shout out on this morning? I want to shout out my mom and dad, James and Shirley Britton, my siblings, uh, Leonard, Deidre, and Donna, and to all the Brittons and Lennons in the Dunbar and Oatland community. What about your school? 
shout out to Carver's Bay High School and Rosemary Middle in Andrews. That's what's up. Good job. Thank you so much.